Hey everyone, let's play some games today. I'm playing the Control Warrior. It's a new season, and I think there just was a sound in the background, but don't worry about it. Let's see what we get here. Uh, right, we have a Berserker. And so, since I am playing Control Warrior, but it's my version of Control Warrior, and if you know me, you know, I tend to play a little more. a Control Warrior that has a little more mid game more minions uh, because I like to play with minions uh, so that's what you're gonna see I have fighting berserkers I have piloted shredders I also put in one grim patron because I want to try it out like how you can still incorporate a grim patron even after the nerf because I still think it can work relatively well if you can set it off with like a death spite and a whirlwind not just playing just to get that combo but just like as an extra tool uh, in the back. Uh, let's just get an armor spit up here. A lot of fast routes lately. I want to get stuff out as early as possible. Let's see what else we got here. Gotta hate those shades though. Right, so we absolutely need to kill that aspirant, which we can. I mean, it would be nice to play the Frothing Berserker here, but that's not really an option because we need to get rid of that. So we can do that with. Slam or execute, and I think slam is the obvious answer here. So let's do that, and then we'll finish it off with the armor smith, like so. Okay. A little worried about that shade though, and our hand is not looking too great for next turn. Unless he for some reason decides to go for the face with the shade, that would be lovely. Because then we could just run that into that and execute it. Unless, of course... Huh... Well, that's scary. That is really scary. What I want now is the death spite. I think that's our best, uh, best bet. Yeah, did not get that. Hmm... So what do we do? We basically need to do one damage to this shade. Maybe play the Berserker here. That'll make him kill the Berserker. Because we cannot just let that go to the face. So, so we need to execute it next turn if possible. Just if we don't have a weapon, we don't have a Taskmaster. Not good. Attempt to play an Acolyte, but the Acolyte could die to the Knife Juggler very easily. I think I'm going to try a Berserker and hope for the best here. Yeah, <laughs> that, that shade. Ah, okay. I think we could really have done different about it to get rid of the shade. So at least I don't feel like I made a big mistake here. Okay. Savage Raw. <laughs> okay. Wow. And we still didn't get to do any damage to that shade. At least he doesn't have that many cards left, but... Okay, Sludge Belcher, good. We need some protection here. I think then we can finally get rid of that shade next turn. I hope he plays like a Druid of the Claw and Taunt mode. That would be pretty excellent. I think if he plays that though, he's gonna play it in charge mode, unfortunately. Oh no! Oh! Oh, could things be turning around for us? Hmm... Well, actually, we don't have enough for execute and Black Knight. Uh, all right, let's let me think about this. Black Knight, we still have that taunt. I mean, this one keeps growing, but we have the taunt. What now? We could execute that, but what could we do on top of that execute? Not that much, right? Well. It's just because this will be like 7 attacks, so if he gets rid of that next turn, maybe it's safer if we do Execute, Acolyte, Armorsmith here, and then go for the Black Knight next turn. You know what, let's try that. Uh, and do this. No. Ah. Well, it's just... Okay, let's go for this. There's just too much risk for taking like 7 damage. We've already done to 18 here. 
But then again, I'm thinking, like, then we can only do Black Knight next turn. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should have done for the, gone for the Black Knight here. Because then I feel like I would have had more options next turn. I'm actually regretting it a little bit. It seems like it's going to turn out okay, probably. Ah, but he has that. That's... but then... No, it's probably fine. We'll do this. And, uh, and then we'll get a little bit of armor by attacking into that one. Like so. Maybe we we'll forget an execute? That would be lovely. Oh, we actually did? Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go for it. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Simply because he, I don't think he has too much steam left in his deck here. And it seems like he's very aggressive, right? So he could play like a Fel Reva or something, and that would be nice to have an Execute. But if he has that, we can still deal with it. Uh, like a Taskmaster that, and then we could find everything into it. But this way... Well... He doesn't have any minions on the board. Ah, yes, he doesn't want us to get any armor. It might be time to try and armor up every turn if possible. Okay. Wow, that really changed the round so much. Suddenly, things are looking a lot better. So how do we do this? Hmm. Huh. We could... What now? I want to armor up. And I want to not take any damage. Let's say uh, walk hard first. That. We could also just play Dr. Boom. You know what? I'm just gonna play Dr. Boom. So we do this, and that, and that. Because we still have 19 lives, so we're not in any danger of dying to combo or anything. So we're fine. You're fine. Can't believe my luck. Like, I for sure thought if he was gonna play a Druid of the Claw there, he would have played it in charge mode. And that would have made things so much harder for us. Okay, no problem at all. This spell we can deal with. Let's see, what do I have? Bomb hits. Okay, so we could six damage, or we could just taskmaster this one and then um, and go for it. Like we can do. All oh, right, no, we should uh, <laughs> should burn a few more cards here. Yeah. Why not? Do that, and then we go for the face. I didn't really feel like we needed to arm up. We've already at 19, and we have it torn out. So I just wanted to burn some more cards for funsies. All right. I must safeguard the he's gonna silence there because his last hope is to just rush us down. Yeah. Let's see. Do we have lethal? We have four. 6, 13, 16, 18. I think we're 2 damage off. I mean, then we also have the boom butt, of course. Uh, we could see if the boom butt mm, could hit something. Let's see if it hits the face for 4 or something. No, <laughs> not quite. Alright, so let's just um, do it this way then. And. Uh, Kill that, and just go for the face, because he can't exactly get two cards to combo us down here. Right, I feel like this is the, this is a good option, to uh, make sure we win next turn and we don't lose. Right. <laughs> I guess he has to... No, there's not, nothing he could really hope for, because if he gets a Doomsday out of his own Shredder, that's not exactly gonna save him. Yeah. I guess you could have hoped for some kind of... Uh, a Noritron? Nah, even that wouldn't have worked, I don't think. Right. There we go. Death by Acolyte. Alright! That worked out somehow. Even though it uh, started out kind of bleak. I was trying out a whole bunch of decks uh, this season, like uh, on the 
right as the new season ticked over. And unfortunately, nothing was really working. I was trying a whole bunch of like, like untested decks because I was really hoping I could come up with like some new interesting uh, deck. But I came up with some interesting decks, but unfortunately, I couldn't win with them. So I lost a uh, rating. I fell down to like rank 18 or something. So I ended up like going back to something a little more traditional while still not being that common in the meta. So I still like playing it. And even though, I mean, Control Warrior is not exactly rare, my Control Warrior tends to be a little different from, from what you usually see. So let's uh, toss all of these. I want stuff I can play early or like a 5 of or something. School Taskmaster is not that useful early on versus a Druid, so let's just toss that as well. If it versus a Hunter, of course, I would keep it. Shredder, okay. Not the best opening hand, but I have to make do. Let's end turn here. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Wild Growth? Ugh. Well, this is less than ideal. Okay, Berserk, at least we have something to do next turn. It's tempting to just play a Taskmaster here. Because then we actually have two, three, four, but I think it's probably more valuable to hold on to it in case you want to combo it with Execute or something later on, or even an Acolyte or a Patron. Alright, well at least we can play something here. Okay, okay that's good. We actually have fairly decent minions here. It's just unfortunate he got that wild growth out early on. That's gonna be... Make make things a little more difficult, for sure. Okay, I'm actually fairly happy to make that trade. Because this one was gonna get up to four life and then he could have killed it very easily. So it would have been much worse if he had played like a Sredder here. Uh, I'm okay with that swipe. Let's play our Sredder. Oh shade, how oh, I hate thee. Just don't have a good way of dealing with them when you get them out so early. Because now it's going to end up being a 5-5, five, five, which means that it will be able to kill the sludge pilcher like nothing. Where shall I hmm, seeing some Druid of the Claws here makes me happy that I have that Black Knight in the deck. Okay, so now, how do we do this? Hmm. I don't really like any of my options that much. It's like I can play 5 Evox and we can deal with that or we could deal with do it with the Taskmaster instead. But it just doesn't feel that awesome. <laughs> uh, let's try this and kill that. And I think I'm gonna actually play the weapon here. And I don't think he has Harrison. I don't see Harrison that much. And we don't have another weapon ready to go. Yeah, let's just end turn here. Okay. And we're probably gonna play the Sludge Budget next turn, right? That's why I wanted to get the five rewards out this turn because we don't have the mana next turn to play it. If we're gonna go with the Sludge Budget. Uh, an execute would be lovely, especially if he ex chooses to uh, expose the shade. We right. oh, got the patron, but ah, uh, that would be more interesting if this was a death spite. Let's uh, get our sludge pilcher out, since I think that's the only thing that makes any kind of sense here. And then, do we? How do we proceed? We could kill that. But how about we open this one up? And I think I should have done that before I played the Sludge Pulse here. Uh, in case it was a Doomsayer. Well, it's not. Let's just go for the face with this one. And uh, see what happens. Hmm. 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 Well, we'll see what happens here. You might end up playing Baron Geddon next turn. Depending. Is he finally gonna expose his jade? Not 
Oh boy. Well, actually, that means I'm even more likely to play Baron Geddon here because that way we can get rid of that. Let's see what he does. Alright, okay. Right, we can actually clear the board then without taking that much damage. Yeah, okay, Baron Geddon looks good. And he only has one card left. So we do... Too bad we lose our little spiders, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Let's do that. That, and then Baron Geddon. Okay. Yeah, that works. I guess I have one way to deal with shades. Not not early on, but on turn seven I can deal with them. <laughs> Things are suddenly starting to look decent. We still need to be careful though, because we only have 19 life, and well, against a druid. Well, that's one force in nature. Right, so he's gonna kill that. Well, now he has, only has this one left. And. Hmm, what are we gonna do here? We can play Ragnaros or we can play Dr. Boom. Ah. Uh... Let's play Ragnaros. Come on, kill that one. I mean, you're probably fine if it hits the face too, but I would like to get rid of all his minions. Well, it's like we don't have to be so scared of combo right now since, well, he's only playing one card at a time. Ah! Never mind! Ah, stupid Asa Drake. I guess this is like why Dr. Boom could have potentially have worked better, right? Well, we also got unlucky, of course we didn't hit, but hopefully we'll hit this time. I think I might want to play Lofib here. Oh, never mind, I want to play Ground Mash because I want to remove minions. So let's uh, kill the Asa Drake. And come on, kill that. Okay, good. That way, there's no way we could die because if that act survived and he somehow had gotten both Force of Nature and Savage Roar, we could have lost right there, and that would have been quite sad. Let's see what you have here. Crap. Probably gonna play Lofab just to make sure he doesn't uh, finish us. Yeah. Loaf up and then probably go for the face with a uh, Grom Ash, right? Uh, if we do that, then. I can only play one spell. There's no way we can die then. Unless. No, there's no way we can die. I think. He can. Get that Charger uh, and then Savage Roar, that's six. Plus. Yeah, if you're, if you're good. So we do this. And uh, I want to make sure that we can have lethal next turn. So we do this. Come on, Ragnaros, just kill this one. We'll make it. Well, okay, I guess this way there's like no way we can avoid uh, avoid having lethal next turn. And that's, like, he can't do it. I can't do 10 damage with two cards and a low fib on the board. I can see. Right. Good. So far, so good. Uh, let's play one more game and see if we can go on a three game win streak. Well, we're already on a win streak, but let's see if we can continue it. Maybe face something else other than that druid this time? Even though apparently it's working, even though both games have been kind of scary early on, these druids are so aggressive. Like, they don't even run Ancient of Laws, I think. I just can't even imagine playing Druid without Ancient of Law. But it does seem to work fairly well for them, so... Well, let's keep the armor smith around. And see what else we can get. Mm, Alright. Slam is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, Frothing Berserker, perfect. Let me have some stuff for early on. Well, I mean, it would be nice if you had a weapon too, but I can't complain too much with this hand. Well, I'd certainly be a jerk if I did. Okay. 
Knife Jackler, huh? I don't trust that Knife Juggler. <laughs> I think, I mean, I don't like to use Slam like this, but I mean, 5 Evokes would have been so much better. But I think it's the right choice here. Let's kill that Knife Juggler. Hey, it's, it's a one for one. And at least you had to use the coin to get it out. Okay. Looks like we're dealing with a very aggressive paladin. And that probably means that he has divine favor, so in that way it's probably not the worst thing in the world to not keep our hand too full. Let's get our frothing berserker up. And hope we get some weapons sometime. Especially a death spike would probably be nice with the, the lift that was coming out of that creeper sometime. Mmm, yeah. You know, actually I think Whirlwind would be nice here. Whirlwind would be the best. Ah, that's not Whirlwind. I mean, I was thinking like sometimes it works when I ask for it nicely, but not this time, I suppose. Alright, well let's do this and I think I'm just gonna kill one of those, buff these two up. Well, yeah, this is not so bad, is it? It's not. It's not. Even though a whirlwind or a death spite would have been nicer. My shield for okay. Is he just gonna go all out for the face? No, okay. He's gonna he's gonna be a little bit sensible here. He's a little scared of these farthings, berserkers too, which is quite understandable. Oh, we're actually gonna end up having this one still here. If he had a weapon. Ah, still no weapon. Just won't show up. Well, I guess we're gonna play low fab here and uh, just kill that, I suppose. Yeah. All right. And I guess he's gonna run his two one ones into my ten two, and yeah, that's all right. Next turn might not be so good though. I'm really liking my hand here. Unless we get a whirlwind. Oh come on, whirlwind. Whirlwind patron? That would be so nice. Ah, still no whirlwind. <laughs> One time it's gonna happen. But you know what, Slot Spell is actually pretty decent too. Uh, let's uh... I think I'm just gonna go for the face here. Are they killing a 1-1? Nah. Who am I? Ah, oh, mysterious challenger. Well, I would still like a whirlwind, you know. Ah, it's just whirlwind would be so good, and then we have would have to execute on everything. Ah, <sighs> well, he's gonna have. And it would just solve all our problems. Okay, so it's gonna be Noble Sacrifice. You're gonna ha wanna kill that one, probably, right? Uh, so we just. Excuse me. Or maybe we just ignore it for now, and then it'll run into. And again. Right, because he might. He will probably try and kill the. Well, first, let's see what gets buffed. I think I'll end up playing Almasmith here. And then, um, alright, noble sacrifice. And he's he's gonna have. Oh man, what a mess! What a mess. Why couldn't we just have gotten Whirlwind? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? See, I'm thinking like he's gonna run into something with that, but I don't even know if he is. I mean, I'm gonna ex. Yeah, I'm gonna execute it next turn, I think. Challenger. I think this challenger has won his challenge. Alright. You know what? Whirlwind would still be pretty good. 
Better late than never is very applicable in this case. Could execute, whirlwind, execute. Also, with a patron in between. That would make things a lot better. Come on, whirlwind. One time. No. <laughs> ah. Well, what then? Is there any hope left? I guess the hope would be Doomsayer. I think that's probably what we're gonna have to go with here. The thing is, that might even be a noble sacrifice. Okay, let's say Doomsayer. I think that's our last hope. That is not Doomsayer. Then... Yeah... Yeah, that's... That's why I didn't play the armor smith, because... Oh. I guess... If you do that, then... He doesn't have visible lethal, 14, 15. If you could somehow get Varian out, get like, nah, it's gonna be rough. Still no Whirlwind in sight. You know, pretty much every turn this game, Whirlwind would have like been so amazing. Okay. Except maybe this turn. I think now it's finally too late for it. So what could I... I think Ragnaros might be the best here. And then if Ragnaros could hit the Mysterious Challenger. Then uh, then we would still lose, <laughs> actually. So, nope, that wouldn't be good enough. Well played. Alright, well, we won two out, of, uh, two out of three. And we lost to the Mysterious Challenger. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.